Hamas as a terrorist organization shows us how to do da'wah. Not only how to invite non-Muslims to Islam, but also how to invite Jews into Islam. And yes, they are not doing something unique. They are simply following the example of Muhammad in 7th century. Remember, in 7th century, Prophet of Islam Muhammad had so much love for money as well as for the spread of Islam. When he went to Kaibar, what did he do? He murdered the Jewish tribe. He was so in love with money. He put fire in the chest of Kinana so that Kinana can tell him where the money is. He was so much in love with spread of Islam. After killing all the tribe of Banu Nadir, what did he do? He took Sophia, wife of the chief, to himself. Earlier that day, her father is being murdered. Her brother is being murdered. Her first husband is being murdered. Her uncles and cousins were being murdered. And Sophia was only 17 years old when she forced to become the wife of Muhammad. Forced to become a Muslim wife of Muhammad. And it seems Hamas is simply following that best example. Remember on 7th of October when Hamas crossed the borders to rape, to torture, to murder, to burn men and women and children and take hostages of men and women and children. That was very much inspired by the teachings of Quran towards Jews. That day, Hamas took over 250 hostages and one of them was Moran Stella. Recently, she's been interviewed and in her interview, she expressed how Hamas terrorists tried to push her to convert into Islam and extorted her family. Hamas wanted her family's money as well as her to convert into Islam. Let's look into it. Formal hostage Moran Stella revealed that during her captivity, her kidnappers demanded a ransom from her family and psychologically tortured her family. So she expressed that terrorists came to her and then asked her, does your father love you? To which she replied, of course, more than anything. Then terrorists asked her again, and what would he give in exchange for you? She asked him what he meant, and terrorists replied, how much money would he give in exchange for you? She emphasized to the terrorists that moment that her father would give everything and anything for her. They want to get money from her family so that so-called they can free her. In Islam, especially in Gaza, kids from very early age are taught that the highest goal in Islam is to be killed. Muslims are told that they love the death more than they love the life. It is every mother's dream in Gaza that their child to be sacrificed in the bloody Allah so that their child become martyred. With all that theology, of course, Hamas terrorists knows that outside of, outside of Islam, people know that life is important. As a Christian, we know God is the giver of life. We love life and we love to live in its fullness until the Lord takes us home. But in Islam, people are told to love the death more than they love the life. Terrorists know that father will do anything, give up everything to get her daughter back. Therefore, they are asking for ransom. In their mind, this woman is a property. Dear Hamas terrorists, such a shame that now it is my job to break it to you. But human beings are not for sale. Women are not there for you to make money. Women are not there for you to occupy. Women are not there for you to rape. Women are not there for you to sell. Leave those hostages alone. Set them free. Stella goes on and states that it is part of their mind games. They are not playing just with us, but also with our families. It does not end in our death or our kidnapping. They continue to torture and abuse our families. Islam is, 
in Deepa so ugly. Not only they come after you, but they come after your loved ones. And she was able to pick that up. While they kidnap me, while I am hostage here, they don't stop here. They go after my family. Imagine, imagine that father, how he coped with that. Getting phone calls, like it's like a mafia. Exactly the same mindset. Hamas terrorist organization as a mafia, they are calling and chasing her father to get money from her father. And if you don't give us the money, we will kill your daughter as well as others with her. Imagine the torture that father went through. Yep, Islam is not much. Islam does not work much different than mafia. Hamas doesn't work much different from mafia as well. It is the same. It is rooted in Islam. Hamas is rooted in Islam, acting like a mafia. And of course, it doesn't finish there. She is expressing that almost daily, one of them would enter the room, saying, "Would be better for you to be Muslim woman." And once. The terrorist sent one of his combatants to get a head covering to put on me. Show me what it means to be Muslim woman. Not only they occupied her for 44 days and psychologically tortured her father and her family, but now they are asking her to convert into Islam. Would it better for you to become a Muslim woman? Yep. Works very well. Not much different than what Muhammad did to Sophia. So he, he ate his. Do become a Muslim. Islam is so beautiful, you know. Remember, on 7th of October, when we just crossed the borders and then raped and tortured and uh, murdered and then burned and then and then destroyed the things and then we took you and approximately 250 others and then now we are taking you, taking keeping you as a hostage. Well, what we do to the woman, we rape them, all that, and then we torture them, all that. It's all beautiful. Um, why don't you join into our religion? It is so lovely. It would be a better for you to be a Muslim woman. Yeah, we murdered over thousands of you just in one day. Kidnapped. Taking hostages, even from babies to the elders just become one of us just become one of us that's how Hamas does dawah she also expressed that Hamas terrorist would bring a Quran to read verses to her demanding she praise God and saying if you would convert to Islam we will release you sooner see this is the Quran read it read it I read it Actually, I was told, probably I didn't even bother to read it. Oh, it tells me Jews are the worst of creatures. Oh, it tells me with the wife. Oh, it just fills my heart with hatred. Just read it and become one of us. That's what Hamas did to Moran Stella. Clearly, it seems they are inspired what Muhammad did to Sophia and her tribe. Extortion of money and conversion of the woman. You occupy men and women, you murder their loved ones, their friends, you take their freedom, and you offer them Islam. Islam is so ugly. See, this is the way Muslims are doing dawah. Islam brings death and destruction to the world. Keep away from Islam. Keep away from being sympathizer of Islam. Keep away from Islam once for all. While Islam brings death and destruction, Lord Jesus Christ brings life and hope.